We have learned in the last video about mitosis, it's just a cell division where the parent cell will divide into two identical daughter cells. For example, if you have a parent cell that consists of 46 chromosomes, whenever it undergoes mitosis, it will divide into two identical daughter cells where each of the daughter cell consists same number of chromosomes as their parent cell. Basically, it's just copy and paste. Or you can think of like this, it's just a cloning process. Let's have a story about we have a pond. Inside the pond, we have four fishes. And on our left is the North Pole of the Earth. We have a man sweating there to fish. In the other hand, we have the South Pole on our right where we have another man is waiting for fishing. Since we mentioned about fishing, they will need to have a fishing rod that is attached together with the fishing line. These five things are very important in mitosis and meiosis. The fishing rod without the line is what we call as a centriose. This centriose sometimes refer as a centrosome in some of the book. Centrosomes is eventually a bundle of two centrios. And our fishing line is made up of the microtubules. Where this is just a fishing line, what we call as a spindle fiber. Next, we have the fishes in the pond is eventually our chromosome. And the pond itself is our nuclear membrane or sometimes can be referred as our nuclear envelope. As we know, nucleus contain chromosome. So inside of the nuclear membrane, we also have the nucleolus. So how we remember all of it, you can think of it as our CNS. C stands for chromosome and our centrios. N is our nuclear membrane and the nucleolus. And S our spindle fiber. You can think of like this is a chicken nugget salad, central nervous system, chicken nugget sandwich. So again, C is a centriose or chromosome, N is the nuclear membrane, and N for nucleolus as well, S for spindle fiber. Mitosis begins with prophase. So we will use animal cell to illustrate this mitosis. So we have an animal cell. So this outer layer is just a plasma membrane, or sometimes you can refer it as our cell membrane. So we start the story with CNS. So we have four chromosomes, which is eventually our four fishes. Of course, humans have more than four chromosomes, but we use four to simplicity. So they are surrounded by the nuclear membrane, but we won't draw our nucleolus out. And we have the fishing rod, which is our centrios. The centrios will now attach together with the spindle fiber, which is our fishing line. So if you want to explain by using a word, also same sequence, we start with chromosomes. What happened to our chromosome in profess? So this chromosome is actually checking this stupid video, where C means they condense. So condense is basically they will now become coil up. So if you remember in the last video, we say during interface, chromosome exists as chromatin. Chromatin is very thin. They are actually single. It's a straight form. It's very straight, almost as straight as I. So what happened here is this chromatin, after S phase, they will eventually duplicate. Because in the synthesis of the DNA, they will now duplicate. So it come in a pair where we have two sister chromatid. But now they are very packed because too many people is inside there. It means that too many cro chromosome is inside this small space. So what happens is in order to save the space, they will actually coil up. They will coil it up. Means they will curve the body so that they will look a little bit thickened and shortened to save the space. Since now they become more round, so they are actually now visible. So it's why I call it a check this stupid video. C, T, S, and V. 
So what happened to our sentry rods? So this sentry rods is the fishing rod. Where is our fisherman again? It's on our left and right, north and south pole, right? So I will use poles to refer to the left end and the right end of the cells. You can use up and down, but for me, easier for me to draw, I will use left and right as the poles. So the centrioles will actually move to the poles to get ready for fishing. And what happened to our nuclear membrane? Since we want to fish, we want to be fair enough. So we don't want this chromosome to be bounded by the nuclear membrane. So the nuclear membrane will open up, will break down together with the nucleolus. And now everything is ready, we will attach the fishing line to the fishing rod. So we say the spindle fiber is now formed. So you can think of a prophase, it's just a preparation. After prophase, it follows by metaphase. At metaphase, you can think of like M is for middle, where all of the chromosome line up in the middle of the cell randomly. This line have a specific name we call it as a equatorial plane. Or if you feel this is difficult, we use the alternative name, which is called metaphase plate. Same as the name of the face. So at this stage, you can see is that the chromosome line up randomly along the metaphase plate. But if you realize the spindle fiber is now attached to the central mirror of the chromosomes. Of course, the spindle fibers is eventually have more than that. I just don't, don't draw it out so it's easier for us to illustrate. Eventually, they have more than four lines. They have more than that. Now, you can think of like both of the fishermen, unfortunately, hook up to the same chromosome, hook up to the same fish. So what happened is this way, you can imagine this is a tug of war, where both the fishermen will try to contract their muscle as much as possible to see how strong are they because they want to pull the string back so that we get the fish. Since they are so strong, so what happened? The chromosome will break into two parts, where our chromosome is break to two half. If you still remember, chromosome consists of two sister chromatids, which we have explained in the last video. So each of them is now referred as sister chromatid. So the sister chromatid is not moving, but instead they are pulled. They get pulled towards the left side and right side, which I refer as poles. Or you can think of like, out of sudden, the fishes saw Annabelle in the middle of the pond. So this is why they run away quickly. So at this phase, why they get pulled is all due to the contraction of your spindle fiber. So this is why the sister chromatid is get pulled towards the opposite poles. So now they are not really happy because why? Each of them only get half of the fish. So what would they do? They will cry and go back to their house and tell the story to their mama. So they said, well, Lao, you know, that day somebody is compete with me just for a fish. So eventually, Telophase begins whenever the sister chromatid arrive at the opposite poles. Means whenever they arrive home with the fish, they start telling the story to their mama. But what happened here is, Telophase is followed by cytokinesis where they're already not happy with each other, they will close the door. So this is the this is the middle of the cell where we have something like pinch in the middle. This is our crevash furrow. So this crevash furrow is eventually where we tend to have our cytokinesis to happen to separate the cell completely. So this is a responsible of our microfilament, which I refer it as our my friend or I call it as MF. So this MF is actually some kind of a muscle, so they will contract. So whenever they contract, they will pull the plasma membrane, which is the outer layer of the cell. They will actually pull, they will pull the plasma membrane inward and pinch it at the middle, which is I call it as a metaphase plate or the equatorial plant. So sooner or later, they will going inward, it means that they will contract and pull inward until the two cells are completely separated. So again, the microfilament just contract and pull 
a ring getting off like this is a ring here they will pull the ring just like the monkey king in the journey to the west has a ring on their head where it will contract and eventually now we have two separated daughter cell this is what happened during the cytokinesis so how do we explain so we can explain telophase happens whenever the sister chromatid arrive at the opposite poles and we're going to continue the story with cns so what happened to our chromosome just now the chromosome is in the condensed form where they eventually coil up but in telophase because now we have more space because we only contain half of them so what happening is now the chromosome will eventually become not condensed and uncoil so this way they go back to become the chromatin just like in the inter interface waiting for another m phase again so the chromosome will become uncoiled and chromatin you can imagine now they are crying and tell a story to their mama so would they care about their fishing rod which is our centrios no they will go home and just put anywhere in their house maybe in the kitchen in the toilet in the living room or in the bedroom so the centrios which is a fishing rod is at the random positions but since they brought the fish home they're ready to have the pawn to put the fish so this way our nuclear membrane and our nucleus is now reappear how about the fishing line did you see the fishing line no because you use up the fishing line you will throw away the fishing line so the fishing line is now disappear so the end result of the mitosis is where we have two identical total cells are being formed so let's have a recap of mitosis so we have our p mapped where it begins with profess so in profess what happened to our cns our chromosome is checking this stupid video where they become condensed thickened shortened and visible and how about our nuclear membrane and the nucleus they will actually disappear right and then our spindle fiber is formed and the centrios which is our fishing rod we go to the opposite poles to get ready for fishing as for our metaphase m for middle all the chromosome line up in the middle of the cell where we call it as a equatorial plane or metaphase plate where the spindle fiber is attached to the central mirror of the chromosomes and then this followed by our a is called anaphase so when they saw the anabel they run away to the poles this is where the sister chromatid pull towards the pole and lastly because they are not happy with whatever they get they go back home and tell the story to their mama which is called the telophase at telophase what happened again so cns so it become not condensed or we say it's become uncoiled and nuclear membrane and the nucleus will be reappear and the spindle fiber just disappears and we have the cribbage furrow and lastly we have the cytokinesis where they pinch in the middle remember who is one pinching here it's my friend it's a microfilament will contract and pull the plasma membrane inward at the metaphase plate until the two identical daughter cells are separated so what are the benefit of mitosis mitosis helps us to replace those kind of dead cells and repair those damaged cells and they support asexual reproductions they also support growth this is why you become taller year by year this is why you are taller than your parents and it also produce the daughter cell that has the same number of chromosomes so how you remember is d-r-a-g-s dragging or drags they replace the dead cell repair the damaged cells asexual reproductions they support growth and eventually they have the same number of chromosomes in the total cells and the parent cell hey if you want to join my online tuition class please drop me a message on telegrams or if you want to support us so that we can make more videos like this the simplest way is just to sharing the video with your friends hit the like buttons and consider subscribe to this channel see you in the next video